Hello, folks. I'm the old sergeant. A couple of days ago, I made a video where it was the first one I used for America's warm civil war. I had seen a whole bunch of stuff that got me worried. The increase of leftist violence around the country and what I consider to be an out-and-out -out coup attempt by the Democratic Party. So I made a video called Coup d'etat of a President, America's Warm Civil War. Well, I was really surprised at some of the comments that I got, some rather vicious comments, which I thought, just for fun, I'd go over. We'll start with this one, which apparently looks like Seer Breath. Obviously, that is a troll name. It says, look at all that stolen valor stuff. He didn't write stuff, as you see here. Well, that's a pretty serious charge to say that I was not awarded all the awards and decorations that I have. You better have some proof of that, buddy. You really don't know what stolen valor is. And gee, if I was going to steal some valor, maybe I would have put on some valor decorations. I don't have any of those. But no, you're going to go out there and accuse me of lying about who I am and the decorations I have. Right off the bat, you're on thin ice, buddy. Then he goes on. Anyone who tried to use their position in the military, who will accept pretty much anyone, that somehow you have special authority or knowledge on the subject. Um, wouldn't a career in the military give me special knowledge on something? How many people do you see on the internet and on television news programs where you see military people giving opinions based on their background and knowledge. Just from being around, you learn a lot of stuff, especially as long as I've been around. And of course, we have to have the who will pretty much accept anyone comment, which is another insult against the military. It's obvious this man has never served a day in his life. He has no clue. But he will insult the military. It shows you who this individual is. Going on. You don't know stuff. Again, he didn't write stuff. You haven't spoken to a single senator in your life, yet here you are saying all this BS about people you don't know, can't name, and have never met. I can name quite a few of them, and you have no idea the people that I've met in my lifetime. But that doesn't matter because this is a logical fallacy. Just because you aren't an expert in a thing with a degree in it doesn't mean you can't have opinions on it. Now, I've seen what socialism has done to countries within my lifetime. I see how it starts, I see how it ends, and I see how it destroys people in the middle. I know from experience. So, moving on to another one. MMA Watchdog says, Everyone report this channel for inciting domestic terrorism. Uh, yeah. Right. I'm warning of it. I'm warning of the left doing it. Now, this is an old Sal Alinsky tactic where if you're on the left, you accuse the people on the right of doing what you're doing. Now, who's the one insulting? in uh, citing domestic terrorism, like Antifa, and the fact that a large number of these mass shooters are leftists. 
It isn't the right that's inciting domestic terrorism. It isn't somebody like me. All I'm doing is I'm warning of it. Though I am warning that if you try to take our guns away or with a coup replace President Trump, we will take action. Doesn't mean we have to use violence to do it. It could just mean flooding Washington with a bunch of people until this is resolved properly, constitutionally. Somebody wrote a defense of me. Thank you very much. And I pulled their name out here, and here's what MMA Watchdog had to say about that. He is a coward, but the civil war you are declaring is against the USA. Uh, no, it'd be against leftists in support of the Constitution of the United States. That is treason, of which you both inciting here. But Leo know where y'all are. Uh, yeah. And what is the local law enforcement going to do other than side with us? And it isn't treason to defend the Constitution. Now, you may think it's treason because it's against the deep state and against people like you, but not for those of us who swore an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So, one of my favorite people decided to reply to MMA Watchdog. Oh, so scary. LOL. I'm a soldier in more ways than one and not afraid of a keyboard warrior. When it comes to survival in this country, the ones fighting for it and not against it are going to win to rebuild it. Everyone else will be traitors no matter who they know. And here's another one that decided to write in defense. And the person writes stuff. He didn't write stuff. Hits the fan. I'll head your way and give you a gun hand. I have no family and travel alone. Thank you for your service, my brother. Did 23 years in the greatest air force on this planet, the USAF. Thumbs up, stay awesome, and have a great day. Well, with a post like that, I'm definitely going to have a great day. So, let's see, MMA Watchdog, what does he say about the just posted post? Archived. Oh my gosh, we're gathering information and archiving it so we can come after you when the socialist revolution happens. So, changing people. Here we have one that says, uh, Conservative is not synonymous, synonymous with patriot, as liberal is not synonymous with communist. And just because one served in the armed forces doesn't make them patriotic. Okay, first of all, let's discuss the logical fallacy. This is not all A is B. And we hear that all the time. Not everyone in North Dakota was born in North Dakota. Do you actually have to state something like that? This post means nothing. It's not constructive, it doesn't do anything, but state the obvious, with maybe a hidden insult about people of the armed forces. Now this one, I left the person's name off because uh, they later apologized, didn't really mean the harshness of their posts, but I thought there was a few things I want to go over here anyway. Trump is no savior. Okay. We may not really know that until it's written in history sometime in the future. We know so far that he's been able to do a lot of good for this country, like the economy. So, we got to give him time to see how much he manages to do and how history's going to look at him. And who cares about politics? 
Well, I can understand that because I hate politics. I really, really hate politics. I'd like nothing better than just sit at home, watch my videos, play games on the computer, read my books, but I can't. Because when you don't watch the people in government, they take liberties. They become corrupt. They try to take your freedoms away. So I'm sorry, but you have to care about politics. Get over yourself. Nobody cares. Okay. Basically, let me just say that I'm using a style for my channel. Yes, I wear the typical veteran's vest. You've probably seen veterans at veterans uh, gatherings wearing such vests. And it has all their decorations and buttons and bobs and badges and stuff on it. It's quite a common thing. And yes, I wear it frequently because uh, it does show my bona fides and less you want to say that uh, it's stolen valor like the first poster did. But yes, it shows my bona fides. And I do, as an introduction to my page, I explain to people who I am. If knowing who I am, they think that what I have to say has some value, then they'll listen in. If not, they won't. If they don't care, then they won't watch. Now, as I said, this person did apologize for, you know, really going over it and uh, said nice things about the military and nice things about me being in the military. So that's why I cut his, uh, his name off of here. But it did have some interesting points that I thought I should go over. And the last one here. Your English is pretty good for being a Russian and all. And of course, I, I just put the snarky reply I, I made to the comment there. Now, I don't really know if he meant this just to be joking or he was serious, but I really wonder about a person who posts the picture of himself, taking a picture of himself with at least his uh, shirt off and using that as his icon. Um, that seems a bit really weird and strange. Finally, all the people that didn't like me, of course, contacted all their friends. And let's put a whole bunch of dislikes down there to lower the percent of this particular video. So it decreases the likelihood of anybody else from... Uh, seeing the video. So it, that's something that Facebook does, part of their algorithm. If you have a low score, it makes it even less likely than unlikely that uh, you're going to show up in anybody's feed, even in a search. Now, our friend, at least him and maybe a few others, uh, have subscribed to my channel so that they know every time I put a video out so they can attack me again and put a bunch of dislikes. So if y'all would be so kind, and if you like my videos, please be sure to put a lot of likes to overcome all these dislikes. And that helps the algorithm and as more people see what videos I'm making. Anyway, this is just a short thing that I wanted to go over and, and uh, show the types of remarks I, I got recently. I'm very happy to be getting the negative remarks. It's the old story about uh, you know you're over the target when you start getting a lot of flack. So I am glad to get a lot of flack. Would like better quality of flack, but I'm glad to get the flack anyway. So folks, as always, Stay vigilant.